Hey Aries, this is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader. And this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, Aries for the week of Valentine's Day. If this one isn't resonating so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon sign, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. If you happen to be a cross watcher, meaning that you're involved with an Aries, keep in mind that the energies here could be reversed or flip-flopped for you. Just interpret this reading as it makes sense to you. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. My least expensive is $20 for a quick reading. I also have a $50 reading that's a lot like the ones I post here on YouTube, which is a deep dive into a relationship or a situation or a question. And I also have a 10 question, $75 kind of intense reading for confusing uh, situations or complex situations. Again, you can find all that down below. I do have someone who is pretending to be me on Instagram. So if someone reaches out to you and asks if you would like a reading, that person is not me. I will never ask you if you want a reading. You have to order one from me. Um, so just block the person and you know run away. Um, if you would like to win that pendant that you see on the right-hand side, it's clear quartz and black tourmaline. You can find all of the directions down below in the description box. Basically, everything is in the description box. Um, I'm going to do an extended reading here. You can get that by clicking the join button. It's 10 bucks. It gives you access to all of the extended readings for every single sign for an entire month. All right. Having said all of that, we're looking at the overall energy here. I'm going to pull cards for your person. I'm going to clarify everything. And well, we're going to go ahead and get started here. All right. We have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and faith that have faith that all will work out for the best. So I don't think that you're in communication with this person. In fact, I think they may have ended this relationship. We have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Somebody here may have made a bad judgment call. We'll get to that in a second. We have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation, so you may hear from this person or you may hear about this person. We also have talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hoovering. Somebody here is regretting a decision that they made. Five of cups is thinking about what might have been or what could have been or what should have been. It's a regret card. It's thinking about the past. The judgment card in reverse, Libra energy someone here wasn't true to themselves or they made a bad judgment call, probably acting in a head over a heart manner. There's something here about doing what you should do maybe versus what you actually want to do. The two of swords is a head over heart decision. It's choosing between two good things, two bad things. Um, just making a real difficult decision and the guardian of swords or the queen of swords here. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, you could be dealing with an air sign or someone who is trying to use their logic here. Someone trying to be head over heart. Sometimes the court cards are about aspects of our personality. And I think this person was trying to maybe do the logical thing or what they thought was the smart thing. And now they're regretting it. Uh, let's go ahead and check out your person. Okay, so somebody here has gotten some clarity about you, about the relationship. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. The Seven of Cups in the upright is confusion. It can mean illusions, delusions, confusion, someone not seeing things clearly, not having the best judgment. We have the Hanged One, Pisces energy. So for this particular interpretation of the card, um, in particular, we have the hanged one with, we're on the moon and we're looking at the earth. It's a change of perspective. Normally we're on the earth looking at the moon. This person is seeing you differently. They're seeing this relationship differently. We have the ace of cups in reverse, a missed opportunity and love. 
Five of Pentacles is feeling left out in the cold, feeling like you have nothing, uh, being alone, being lonely. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy could be dealing with one of those signs. But the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is a sense like you slipped off your path. You took a bad turn. Um, it's feeling like misfortune is headed your way. Uh, kind of like um, fate or destiny or luck is is ready to trip you or something. It's it's a sense like you've you've done something bad. And we've got the Eight of Wands, which is movement, it's momentum, it's messages. I do think you're going to be hearing from this person or about this person, about the decision that they made, because I think it was a bad one. And I think they think it was a bad one. So let's clarify all of this. Okay, I am using the uh, Tarot of Mystical Moments to clarify Tell me about Aries person. I think it was this person that made the bad decision, but it could be you as well. volunteer. Ooh, 10 of swords, a very bad ending with you feeling hurt, um, betrayed, stabbed in the back. You may feel that way, but they do view the ending that they had with you as a bad one. There's lots of swords here. I think this person's thinking a lot about you. They're wondering about you. We've got the five of wands in reverse. They want to end a conflict with you. Six of swords, they're moving back towards you. Six of Swords is leaving a situation, and we've got the Ten of Cups. I feel like for them, you're their person, that they want to be with you here. And we've got the High Priestess, Pisces Energy, uh, using their intuition. Maybe their intuition has been speaking to them about this relationship. It's possible that you're dealing with a Pisces. You also may not be getting any information about this person right now. They may be quiet, but a lot is going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. That Ten of Cups alone, that's a wish fulfillment card. It's a happily ever after. They may try to get you back. Let's see if anything else wants to come out here. All right, that was too many. Yeah, we've got the death card here, Scorpio. They want to change the situation. They feel like they've stepped off their path, like they made a huge mistake. Uh, they're viewing this relationship as a missed opportunity and like you're the one here. Uh, all right, so let me know down below if it resonated. If not, uh, go ahead and check out your moon and Venus sign in my other readings. You can get the extended reading by clicking the join button down below. If you're on an iPhone, it isn't going to show up. You have to be on a desktop. I'm going to do this person's feelings, their intentions, and some advice for you. Um, thank you so much and blessed be.